I want to have this conversation with Vikings Nation. The conversation is this, man. Do we see a path of Sam Darnold starting more than, I don't know, six, seven, eight games? I mean, do you guys see a path of Sam Darnold actually playing the entirety of the 2024 season? Because I'm going to tell you, man, you want to know what worries me? You want to know what worries me? Is Kevin O'Connell, our head coach, my guy. I still believe we made the right choice. Now, listen, we'll let Harbaugh do his thing in LA and we'll see. The jury's still out. We'll see. But as far as I'm concerned, we still made the right choice. But I'll tell you what concerns me when it comes to this Sam Darnold situation is Kevin O'Connell's been speaking crazy high up on Sam Darnold. His best football is still in front of him. And this, that, and the third. Quasi over here praising him. To me, that was by far the lowest graded move we made this offseason. I know we needed a quarterback, but you catch yourself getting in a bidding war with the Denver Broncos behind Sam Darnold. Now, the money's not an issue. I get that. The money is not an issue. I ain't tripping on that. I'm talking about the player, man. You feel me? Now, I'm going to ride for Sammy, bro. Sammy boy. You feel me? We're going to ride for Sammy boy, but I do not want to see him start a football game on this damn team unless a quarterback goes down. What quarterback? The quarterback that we're going to draft here in the next couple of weeks. My, my vision is this. You brought in Sam Donald because you needed a backup. All right. Now, their vision seems a little different. They brought in Sam Donald because it's his job to lose. He wants Sam Donald in there with Josh McCown. I see the connection there. I get it. But again, you don't want to go into a season with Sam Donald as your quarterback because we're not going to accomplish anything that we didn't already accomplish with our last situation. My goal as a fan, what I want to see from my team is I want to see us elevate, bringing in Sam Darnold, hoping that he can hit another level. Now, I'll give KOC the benefit of the doubt. He brought in Kirk Cousins. When Kirk Cousins, well, he didn't bring in Kirk Cousins. You know what I mean? When he got his hands on Kirk Cousins and they started working together, it seemed like he took Kirk Cousins' game to a little bit another level. You, we, can, we can give him that, right? He, he took it up a little notch. I give him that. Now, there's a possibility he can do the same with the Sam Darnold. I get that. There is, but even if you take Sam Donald's game up a notch, I'll even give him two. You feel me? It still isn't exciting to me, okay? It still isn't exciting to me. You feel me? He had a couple good games in Carolina, a couple good games in New York, a couple good preseason games over here in San Francisco 49ers. He might know the lingo playing, which, you know, Shanahan being his coach, that's always a plus because, you know, they're very... They're very quarterback friendly over there, teaching these guys the, the way to go and stuff like that. I get it. I get it. I, I, I can rock with that. You feel me? But as a Vikings fan, man, I do not want Sam Darnold starting more than three games at the most. I mean, I really don't want him to start at all. But if I had to sacrifice, I'm sacrificing three weeks and that's it. That is it. Now, there is some fans that believe Sam Darnold is going to hit another level. And I get that. I could see that. That's cool. I'm not going to argue with you yet. We're going to wait until the season comes. I look at it like this. So far, when I think about Quasey and Kevin O'Connell, when it comes to uh, uh, judging which quarterback the Vikings should get, and they went and got Josh Dobbs, that was a that was a disaster. That was a disaster. Now, we had our one week. I know that one week of, you know, well, I'll say a week and a half of Josh Dobbs playing pretty decent felt like forever, but it was only a week and a half. I know it felt long. You know, we had astronauts popping out within three days of, of the game. You know what I mean? It was, it felt like he he was doing it forever. It, it was only a week and a half. He played a one full game, pretty decent, and a half a game. That's it. You feel me? I don't, matter of fact, I don't even know if it was one full game. It might've been two half, maybe one full game total because the Saint, the second half of the Saints game, he didn't play that good. First half, he played great. You feel me? But again, I'm going to tell you, man, listen, Sam Darnold, <laughs> I just don't want Sam Darnold going into the season and with the coach like we have knowing and the evidence that I have knowing that he doesn't pull the plug very quick where he will have us fans waiting and waiting and waiting to see our future. And we'll be sitting back doing videos and talking about it in the group chats and all this about, well, maybe the guy's not ready or Kevin O'Connell doesn't know how to develop him. That's why we haven't seen him yet. No, I think it's because they might fall in love with Sam Darnold. You feel me? Like like we've seen him do with the running back position, the wide receiver position, the guard position. He does it like he 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 builds these bonds with these players and he doesn't know how to make the tough decisions quick enough. He makes them eventually. He just doesn't make them quick enough. And that's what I'm hoping doesn't happen with Sam Donald. But let me know how you feel, man. Do you want to see Sam Donald be QB one? How many weeks are you willing to sacrifice seeing number 14 roll out there as our quarterback without losing it? You feel me? Without losing it, saying, man, I'm sick of this. This team's getting on my nerves. 
Let me know down in the comments. Appreciate y'all tapping in. I'll let your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gonna do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toast with you. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm terrific. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage.